Greetings guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So lately one of my nerdy interests has been getting into modding for Cyberpunk 2077. Now obviously the game's only been out for about a year or so, which means that the modding community is still relatively fresh. Which does mean that there is still a lot of um, gaps in our knowledge, and also that there is a lot of gaps in kind of helpful tutorials. Now, I've already had a go at making a few um, replacement radio stations where you uh, swap out the existing in game radio for uh, music created and curated by yourself. Um, and a lot of people asked, how did I do that? So, Whilst there are a few written um, things here, I figured I'd make a YouTube tutorial which will hopefully help you out and uh, help you go through this. I'm going to link back to a document that will outline all of the programs you need to install beforehand. Um, so make sure you've got um, WYS, which is the uh, um, audio management software that you need in order to encode it into the format uh, that... Um, Cyberpunk uses. Uh, you'll also need to install Wolven Kit, which is a, um, a tool for converting everything into the .archive format that uh, Cyberpunk stores all its data in. And you will also need a audio um, editing software, um, whether that's uh, a paid for one or whether that's a free one, like Audacity. Um, I tend to do a lot of my editing in Adobe Premiere but that's because I already have Premiere for video editing. Obviously, Premiere Pro is a paid-for product, so Audacity tends to be the one to go for because it's free to download. So, one of the first things that we need to do is we need to come out of that lovely little screenshot of uh, Night City and look at this spreadsheet, um, which I'll link to. This is a list of all of the tracks in sorted by radio station in Cyberpunk. Um, I say all of the tracks. I'm pretty certain that there are more tracks that have been added to the game since this document was created. But this certainly gives you a good idea of what the tracks are and what the track lengths are. Um, you don't have to download this, but I have, and I'll explain why a little bit later on. But the most important thing we want to understand is what the station that we're going to replace is and the length of the songs we're going to replace. Because if you create songs that are longer, they're going to get cropped off. And obviously, if you put in songs that are much shorter, you're going to end up with uh, massive gaps. And that's not so good. So... Once you have installed all of the required software, we can move on to the the meat of this, which is the editing. So you may need to say um, cut or edit these songs to match the song lengths. Um, perhaps you want to do a bit of mixing and sampling with various different things. That really depends on how in-depth you want to go and how experienced you are with audio editing. Um, for the purposes of this, um, most of what I'm talking about is going to be a case of cutting song lengths down, um, which I've done prior to this uh, because this is not a tutorial on how to use Audacity. But one of the things that you will need to do in Audacity is when you open in your files is obviously you can see the waveform here. Um, and this gives us an idea of the highs and lows of the decibels. Now, by default, a lot of music that you import will be a lot louder than the in-game audio. So the best way we can edit this, and this is, I, I would recommend doing this for all of your audio, is to select all and go into effect. And we want to use this tool here, which is the normalize tool. And we can set uh, how many decibels we want to reduce it by. Uh, we'll, we'll use the minus three. And as you can see, that's evened out our audio. Now, it won't affect the audio quality or anything. It just um, affects the, the internal volume. Once we're happy with that, we don't want to make any more kind of changes uh, or edits, uh, which for the purposes of this, we're not going to. We're going to resave this file. 
So we go to File, we go to Export, and we are going to export as a .wav file. Uh, I'm just going to save over the existing copy I've already got, so I'm happy with the file name. And we're going to go Save. Yes. Yes. And that will have finished copying that web file. Once um, you've done repeated all of these steps with all of the, the files you want to include in your radio station, um, and for the purposes of this, um, I think I've only got about uh, 15, 16 tracks, which is the number of tracks I'm replacing. So I can close down that now. So WYs, this is one of the programs you will have to have and you need to have the 2019 version. So when you actually run the installer for this, make sure you install the 2019 version um, because newer versions or older versions will affect that. Um, and when you launch it, you will get this screen here. As you can see, I've already made several other projects, but I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it Emotion because I'm actually, uh, when I can spell correctly, mo -t -i -o -n. good grief, how bad, um, Emotion FM. So this is actually, I'm creating a replacement station inspired by one of the radio stations on um, GTA Vice City. I'm going to say OK to that, and it's going to create this project. Uh, shouldn't need a license, so we'll just close that for a moment. The next step we want to do is we want to go into our project and project settings. And we want to go to this tab here, which says source settings um, and default conversion settings, and then the triple dots. Now it's already on this option, but you want to make sure that um, you go in and you select factory conversion settings, Vorbis, and you want Vorbis high quality or Vorbis quality high. Um, Obviously, it's already remembered that because I've used these settings before. And then what I want to do is I want to go to import audio files, add files, and we are going to navigate to my documents, to Audacity, and to the corresponding folder with all of my music in. Just control A that. Um, obviously it shows all of the files in there and I'm just literally going to go import why is that okay that's a few moments later okay so I figured out what the problem was um, it was this drop down menu here for whatever reason, it was on replace audio files. Uh, you need to make sure it's on create new objects um, if this is the first time you're creating and adding files to your project. Otherwise, you'll get the error message I was getting just now. So now, when we go to our folder, it should actually have, or it should give me the ability to add in the files that I wanted to add in. So, open, import. Huzzah! Um, quick import screen disappears. Now, where is my files, I hear you ask? Well, if we go in under this drop down here, which says um, actor, mixer, hierarchy, and default unit work, and we can see all of our files here. And we're just going to right click on that, and we're going to say convert. Uh, nothing needs changing in this. And we just press OK, and that will start encoding all of our files. And this converts it from .wav, which is a, a Windows audio format, to a WME, WEM file. And the WEM files is the proprietary audio format that um, 
is encoded by this software WYs, but it's used um, by Cyberpunk and by a lot of other things. In fact, you've probably seen the logo for this software, the WYs logo, on the intro screen for Cyberpunk. Um, I'll point that out in a moment when we launch Cyberpunk. Um, so if all's done well, you know, all of that's done, but we can go to our documents folder and here is our folder that we just created. And we're gonna go into cache, windows, SFX. And sure enough, here are all of our files as .wem files. Now over here, I have a folder in my C drive called Cyberpunk Mods. And this is where I put all of the work that I'm editing. So into this folder, we're gonna create a folder or I already have called emotion.fm. Now, you will need to create inside of that folder a folder called base, sound, and sound banks. And inside sound banks, we are gonna copy all of these files. Now, remember when I said you may want to have a local copy of that um, lovely Google Doc. I created a local copy um, because what I have here is I can look at, here is the songs that are on this radio station, Ritual FM, which is the radio station I'm gonna replace, their duration, the new songs, their duration, where I've needed to make edits, and more importantly, these file names, the .wm files. In order to get your music to play in game, not only do we have to create this folder with it in, we now have to rename all of these files to these numeric strings. So, we see we've got Africa, then I wanna find this title here. I wanna copy that. I want to go back in and rename to that. And we're just going to basically rinse and repeat that step with each of those files. Now, obviously, I am probably going to skip ahead now because we're the best one in the world. You don't want to watch me do that 14 times. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so after a brief time skip, I have finished renaming all of my uh, music files to the files that they're replacing. Um, so now we can actually go ahead and actually make this into a uh, usable resource for our files. Um, okay, up, up. And I'm gonna show you how to use Wolvenkit. So this is the command line version of Wolvenkit. Um, and this is used to pack and unpack .archive files, which is um, what Cyberpunk uses to store all of its content and how we make mods. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, might seem a bit daunting if you've never used command line stuff, but it's actually really straightforward. So we're just gonna give it the command of pack dash P quotation marks, and then we're gonna go into our folder and we're gonna copy this address and we're gonna control V to paste it in there, close quotation marks. And when I hit enter, it's gonna do that. And it tells me the finished packing. So if I now look, we should have a base game underscore emotion dot FM archive. Now to use this, you just need to put this into your mods folder in uh, uh, in Cyberpunk. Now, the exact location of that folder will depend on what, what version, you, whether you're doing it via um, the Epic Store, Steam, or um, the GOG Galaxy. Um, links or explanations for all of them are in the documentation that I'm gonna link. I have it on Steam, so if I go into my program files and into Steam, and then down to Steam Apps, Common, Cyberpunk, 
and then we're going to go into archive pc now by default there will not be a mod folder so if you haven't already got mods installed you will need to create a folder called mod um, i have and as you can see i've got a whole bunch of different mods in there but if i want to test this model mux i'm just going to copy that and uh, paste it into this folder now we used um, we used this to replace the audio on the uh, ritual FM web uh, radio station in game so if I now launch cyberpunk um, and we'll go to that station and see if we can hear the audio that I've replaced it with okay This might take a moment to load. Um, I mean, as mods go, this is probably one of the more straightforward mods. Um, it gets more complicated when you start playing around with modifying the models and textures. Um, and bear in mind that there are no official mod tools at the moment. The closest we have is Wolven um, Kit, which is a, a fan creation designed to mod the, um, the red engine. Uh, see, look, you can see the Powered by Wise icon there. So, Wise is actually the program that um, Project CD Red themselves use. Oh, I've got a stupid pop up for uh, Discord. Skip that. Uh, so, this is one of the mods I've got. It replaces the menu music with uh, one of Samurai's songs. I'm just going to load a game. on my uh my fourth playthrough at the moment howdy howdy night city welcome back my guest tonight is lieutenant sarah kakoski spokeswoman for the nc running obs to record then, this at the same the time it's not kind on the uh, frame rate but it's Thanks not having me. terrible i hope you made it to the studio without um, any issues no carjackings or drive-bys along the way okay so i'm just going to summon Jackie's motorcycle so that we can listen to our radio station. So, we get on our radio station. We go down to Ritual. Millions realize their dreams. Beware the trap set by the frost giant. Carry your magic. Why is it the first song I put on was the Thor ad that Finest men, head to where the sun sets. There you will find the village. Pillage, plunder, and burn all that you find. And if you order now, you'll receive Thor's subliminal tape series, so you gain wisdom. I did try to sleeping. not just add the audio it's from the Vice City the radio stations, but some of the adverts Thor's and stuff as well, just to really kind of, you know, evoke that nostalgia. Because the adverts village. on those stations are hilarious. And there we go. It's playing Alone by Heart. Uh, and because we've modified the decibel level, it's not a disgustingly highlight. I've actually possibly tuned that down a little bit too much. It's it's trial and error. Um, I mean, this is only like the third one of these I've done, so... You know. It's a learning curve, but hopefully that helps you and inspires you guys to go and make whatever cool soundtrack you want to be cruising around Night City listening to. And if, like me, you have a have a soft spot for all of the uh, the soundtrack from the original um, GTA Vice City games, then yeah, go out there, get creative, and uh, until next time, stay nerdy.